this is room D, as in David, or Dolphin in this case, 416, which is a, um, what, are, what are they called now? I guess they were club class mini suites. Now they're something like Premier Collection or something, but whatever they are. Anyway, they have light switches here and this is the room. So here is the closet area. It's quite large as you can see. I mean, I've got a big suitcase on the ground right here and there's plenty of room left on the ground should I want to put more things on the ground there. There is, a, of course, this divided full length mirror here. And inside, first you will notice we have the lovely life vests. We have, I think this is their standard, yeah. Standard, not very big. You can put your phone in there, you can put your passport and jewelry in there, but there's no way you're getting any other electronic devices that are bigger than a Kindle. And it's also kinda, it says it's locked. I'm not sure what's going on with that. <laughs> it says it's locked, but it's open. So something's going on with that safe. Anyway, um, you've got several shelves. You can see I'm a fan of packing cubes because I always use them when I'm traveling to pack. Now let's look at the restroom because this is a mini suite. And look at that. We have a tub. Tubs are awesome. And this is, this is a nice bathroom. So all the things you would expect, you've got the three shelves here. You've got a shaver outlet there. We have Lotus Spa upgraded, I guess they're upgraded um, toiletries. You've got a trash in the bottom. You've got, you know, the toilet. You've got two shelves in here, an emergency cord. A uh, shower and all the controls you would expect and then we have shampoo and conditioner in one and shower gel and strangely enough we have these in here I would think they would get wet but you know I guess I'll find out won't I? <laughs> anyway that is the bathroom area and the closet area So let's, uh, let's just start with this. You'll have to excuse my stuff. It's all over the place. I've been here a while and I was filming and I've sort of torn through my luggage and everything's all over the place. And I've also uh, had a couple of drinks. <laughs> so anyway, this is a very nice bed, as you can see, good sized. The end table does not have power. It has a USB. A. Let's see, what about behind the pillows? Nope, just, oopsie, just light switches. So, no power at the bedside. Just USB, cable, uh, USB adapters, USB plugs. I can almost speak today. Okay, this is the bar setup that, that comes with my status. This used to be where the TVs were, but now it's a lovely plug that you can charge things with. And in here we have the fridge. I already went to dinner, so I have leftovers. <laughs> but yeah, you can see it can hold a fair amount. Um, eh, not very cold, but hopefully it'll be okay. <clears throat> On this side, you have this lovely desk and it has three drawers here. And you can see these are pretty deep drawers. And let's see, does anything have anything in it? No, and no. And then the end tables, of course, the other one had these as well. It's got this little cubby and it has two more drawers. They're not the soft clothes, but they'll work. Now we have the USB here. We do have both USB and a power plug here. And it's hard to tell with the hair dryer here, but you do have two power plugs down here too. So there's nothing on the other side, but on this side, there's a fair amount of power. So that's useful at least. There's your phone, there's your, <laughs> your pattern and all the other things that they leave you when you first get here. Here's another one of those lamps with another USB outlet. We have more lights here. 
we have another plug up here this is just like this is the the cabin you get if you want lots and lots of power huh and then we have these two very deep shelvings down here so you have a tv here and a tv over there you have a lovely seating area this is a big couch i don't know if it folds out into something but it's a big couch uh, there's nothing on the ceiling indicating that a berth would fold it would come down and this this is now you've got two options that to lock and then you do that and it can be a bit of a bear to open and this is what sail away from Whittier looks like and you can see we've got so if you look at the ground here this is um, it's plastic, I guess. It's not very comfortable on your feet if you're trying to go barefoot. But you've got a really good sized table and two good sized chairs. And underneath them are the footrests. But look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Okay. Let's close this door. That's about it for our room tour.